We are going to build a model that predicts Titanic passenger survival, based on their personal profile, sex, age, passenger class etc. Excel's analysis tool pack add-in will be used to build the linear regression model. Make sure that you have Excel's analysis tool pack installed before you begin. Open Excel, loaded with Titanic 3.xlsx, then click File, More, Options, Add-ins. If the analysis tool pack is listed as inactive, click the Go button and check the analysis tool pack in the Add-ins dialog box, followed by OK. Click the Data tab on the ribbon. The analysis group will now be available. If the Developer tab is available, you can access the Add-in dialog box by clicking the Developer tab, followed by Excel Add INS. Build the linear regression model on the Train tab using the Analysis Tool Pack. Click the Data tab, followed by the Data Analysis icon. Select Regression from the menu, followed by OK. Survival will be the dependent variable that we want to solve for. Select column E in the table as the Y input values. Select columns F through L as the independent values that will be used to predict the survival value. Enter the range as the input X range. Check the labels box and enter N1 as the output range, then click OK. Let's look at the significant values in our summary output. Specifically the R square value in the regression statistics, the significant F value in the analysis of variance, and the P underscore value in the coefficient section. R squared. It tells you how many points fall on the regression line. For example, 80% means that 80% of the variation of Y values around the mean are explained by the X values. What is a significant F value in ANOVA? The F ratio is the ratio of two mean square values. If the null hypothesis is true, you expect F to have a value close to 1.0 most of the time. P value. The smaller the p-value, the stronger the evidence that you should reject the null hypothesis. Use the model to predict the survival of passengers held in the test set, we are fortunate because we have the correct survival values of each passenger. Bring in the test data by copying the table on the test tab and pasting it into cell N29. Make two columns before the survived column in the table. Name them, correct and preed underscore survived. Enter the formula to compute the preed underscore survived value. Make note of the absolute cell reference to the intercept and all coefficients used from the table above. Remember, the F4 key make an absolute cell reference. After entering the formula, copy it down to the end of the table. Now you have the predicted survival status of all the passengers in the test dataset. Create the formula for the correct value. 
This will be predicted survival minus the actual survival value. A zero represents a match, or correct survival value, minus one or one represent incorrect values. Finally, count the number of zeros in the correct column and divide that by 400, the number of records in the test dataset. In summary, we used the data analysis regression function to predict if an individual Titanic passenger survived, based upon their personal profile. We were able to accurately predict the survival status of 79% of the passengers listed on the test dataset. Supplemental, I would like to demonstrate how to make an array formula. This is a very powerful and rarely used feature that allows you to multiply two vectors in a single command. We will create a new column and name it preed underscore survived underscore array. We will make a shorthand version of the preed underscore survived formula, shown before, and use the formula array function to do the computation. Enter the formula like any other, starting with the equal sign. Again, round the value to exclude the fraction. Take the intercept and add the sum of the relevant coefficients times the transposed values of those coefficients. Hit the Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys to turn the formula into an array formula. Curly braces will surround the formula when done correctly. Notice that when you hit the Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys the curly braces are automatically added. When modifying the formula, the Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys must be the last keys entered in order to keep this functionality. I'll modify the correct value to compare the two predicted survival values. 100% is the expected value since the array formula and predicted survival formula are doing the same computation. Finally, I change the correct formula to compare the predicted array formula against the actual survival values. Again, you will see that the predicted value is correct approximately 79% of the time.